Okay, so after the critique, so here's some things that I want you to pay particular attention to, which is um, they were all part of your reading the type PDF packet that I'm sort of circling there's on my desktop. So I started looking at your compositions and this sort of principle of compositions handout, which is actually a really cool little handout um, that sort of helps you to get through the ideas of composition, thinking about scale, complexity, simplicity, um, symmetry, asymmetry, the tension, um, balance. Notice that some of these, for example, balance has this small grid to help you achieve um, balance and start to look at how your compositions are starting to, to, uh, to function. Um, and I want you all to really pay particular attention in particular this week to composition. I'm really, really super, super interested always um, in compositions that really have clear hierarchy and clear contrast because that helps us as a reader, as a viewer, as someone who's engaging with your work, with, whether it's a poster or a website, um, that helps us to really um, be able to go into it and you as a designer can navigate us through with your composition. So take a look at that principles of composition and start thinking about it as you're going to get the assignment for this week, um, which I will tell you in a little bit. Also, pay particular attention to the this little particular file. I got this in grad school. This is a lexicon of things that you should know for type two. And, and it, you know, it addresses historical design movements, issues of composition, for example, here's number one. Um, starting to think about, again, page composition on six, we're still talking about the golden ratio, grids, the margins. Um, starting to talk about the dashes and paragraph and paragraph length, right? So um, remember line length, 60 to 70 characters per line is what's accepted. Of course, acceptable. Of course, if you have larger type, the number of characters per line shrinks. So keep that in mind, of course. Um, and the other thing I'm going to send you all is this handy typeset checklist, which is from Yale. This is by John Gamble, the university printer at Yale. Things that you need to really pay particular attention to. And this is really detailed. This is like hardcore typography. So um, in many ways, a lot of this you need to start paying particular attention to. Um, and I want you to start looking at it as you're setting your type, as you're doing um, the fine detail. Um, another note that I wanted to give everybody was, I hope you're all printing your work before you're submitting it, because I have a, I have a suspicion that you are all working on screen and just going by it like that. Typography needs to be printed to look at. And we're working on the premise that we're doing typography on paper, not on screen. Screen typography requires more space, which is one giveaway to me that a lot of you are working on screen and not printing your work. So you should really start thinking about printing your work, looking at it, examining it, seeing whether the spacing is appropriate or not. Again, this document, I'm gonna send it to you, um, but it's very specific. It's very specific. You can look at this document last after you're done your stuff. And I'm also gonna put, send you all a, um, this version of the Mueller Brockman book, Great Systems in Graphic Design, where he starts, I'm just scanning through pages, where he starts talking about very specific detail points about typography. Very precise, precision-driven um, typography. He's Swiss, Swiss typography, the modern, the, the international style, a lot of it has to do with precision, mathematics, grids are very precise on how you use them. Um, so these are just resources for you, but I really want you to start thinking about your compositions um, and how they function and how the hierarchy in your compositions help you to tell the story that you're trying to tell, um, help you to get the subject matter across. So that's the first part. I'm gonna make another video coming up where I'm gonna show you some other examples and some notes. And I'm sending you all of this so you have it. So I'm gonna send you my notes, which here, here's one of the notes, traditional compositions, and I'm gonna send them to you so you can have them as well.